Hey y'all, I got a word. I'm not sure how quick or short it's gonna be. This fell on me like really heavy this morning, but I think it fell like the way it did because it was already kind of pending and I just wasn't picking up on it. Um, the other day when I was recording, I just kept kind of hearing like fickle when I was like walking to and from my office in my kitchen and I was like fickle, like yeah, we're fickle humans. Like, you know, that's it. Like. I got it. But then this morning, God was breaking it down for me why he was telling me, um, you know, we're fickle. And so I'm going to call this a good and perfect love, but also restore base. Because when I woke up this morning, he gave me two things. And one of those things was restore base. And I was like, restore base. And he meant the foundation. And so I don't know if he's going to baby step us all through like love or whatever, but I'm going to just let him use me okay so i'm gonna just read down the paper how i did the notes okay um a good and perfect love so first things first humans are fickle the definition of fickle is changing frequently especially as regards one's loyalty interest or affection and i was like yeah that sound right like we're pretty fickle you know like one day wake up I'm in love next day. Can't stand this person. You know, like we just, we change. Like we, we're emotional beings. Like that, that's what makes us fickle. Okay. So he gave us moody, hormonal, all these things. Right. But let me stress the Holy Spirit is bigger than all of those things. Okay. So the scripture he gave me was James 1 um, verse 17, but I actually read 12 through 17 and it was wow because he was illustrating to me like, y'all know how we've been talking about like us or maybe the spouses got kidnapped. We're enticed by our own desires. Okay. That's what lures us away. That's what causes us to sin. Okay. Whether the desire is something that's like lust or the desire is something so strong as to not get hurt. And there's a reason he keeps making me say that. He was also giving me some revelation um, earlier because like, I really be asking him about marriage. Like, I, I just be having a lot of questions. And it's like, God, if you're saying, like, when we get done with this word, if you're saying this is what keeps us together, what be keeping people in the relationships that you didn't put together? One of those things is the desire to not get hurt, right? The fear, the failure, whatever, but that's not what this word is about, okay? So, James 1, verse 17, okay? Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And another version reads, um, like he doesn't have variableness, which is change, right? So, what he told me, the word fickle, which means changing frequently, and then the verse he gave me, the direct opposite, right? who does not change like shifting shadows, God, all right, um, complete opposites, right? So it was really building off of the word we did the other day where it says love is being proved. And so in that video, I was saying, he had gave me that while I was talking, like it's two imperfect humans, right? But with God, with the perfect love, that's what makes it three. So what he's further illustrating is us two humans, right? We're very fickle. We change so much, but it's God being who ordained it. God who is in the mix. God is who is joining y'all together. That is what makes the love itself perfect. That is what makes the love itself something that does not change. Q Jeremiah not the prophet, but the R&B artist, Jeremiah, okay? So that was a big deal for me, all right? So let's break this down a little bit more. Every good and perfect gift, um, something he had already been emphasizing to me is, you know, being able to recognize that this love is a gift. And when we understand that, we're, we'll cherish it. We will be a good steward of it. Like, it's one thing when we're like, God, I'm going to be a good steward of my finances. God, I'm going to be a good steward when it comes to this ministry, this assignment. But when it comes to this actual union that he has called you to be in with somebody, we have to be a good steward of that too. That is a good and perfect gift from heaven and so this is a part of restoring the base restoring the foundation in which these unions are being built upon we have to recognize that as a gift and make the decision that's part of coming into the agreement with god all this is building off of like all the words right like i need to be a good steward of this this is a blessing so restore base the foundation 
building it on God, building it with God who does not change. And so the memory he had me go back on was somebody had asked me like how long my parents had been married and they was like how 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 like how they did that and and y'all know like we'll see that we'll see testimonies of people being married for however long um you know 60 70 years like how especially like when we in relationships especially when we're in the wrong relationships and it's like I don't even like this person and that's an important thing too we keep we'll try to tie ourselves to people we don't even like okay like and there and there'll be seasons there'll be times where you don't like um your your god ordained right like it'll be days where you being fickle and you don't like them but that love that's not going to change okay but that's not what we're talking about they had asked me like how your parents was married that long and my answer at the time was god right and i didn't know how okay I just knew he was the answer and and now he's showing me like now I'm about to show you how I am the answer why like he's really breaking it down he is restoring the base for me establishing the foundation for me teaching me okay and so we'll have like how 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 God okay um marriage itself is a miracle I wrote that down because we can't explain it it's something that's powerful. I think it is something that's supernatural. Um, and I mean marriage that God has ordained. So I feel like I be having to say that. Like when I say marriage, I don't mean what people be out here throwing together. No, I mean God ordained marriage. I'm talking about these kingdom unions. It's supernatural. It's powerful. It's orchestrated and ordained by God. It is a miracle. The love standing a test of time, all of that. But why? It's because God is in it. It's a love that is not bound by time or distance, right? And we, especially if y'all are being restored because it's like all this time passed and the feelings just, they're the same. How? 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 <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> right, and we've talked about that. Like, why do I still love them? How do I even still love them? Like, even when I haven't wanted to, how? And not the abuse counterfeit type of feelings okay because the devil will trick you when you're in the wrong situations and and it's from a place of settling in fear and not being healed like um i chose this out of all of you know those things those places not being content in god i'm talking about how am i content in god know all these things know what i want all this and somehow like even when you mess up even when you're getting on my nerve like i still love you how why right the love is not bound by time or distance why because god is not bound by time or distance so come on holy spirit everything that characterizes god characterizes these unions okay god forgives us mistakes don't kill our relationship with god mistakes don't kill our relationship with our god ordained spouses right now in other relationships it do kill it that's how you know god didn't put it together because i left now some people um they rather just live their life uh miserable running away from where they're supposed to be not at peace and say like um it killed it when it really didn't kill it and you're just they're just mad because and that was me like this should be dead why is it this dead right god's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside the holy spirit is so funny do you get what i'm saying though it's one of those true we can bend but don't break how did we survive witchcraft attempts how did we survive all of this because it's god it is god and that is what he is teaching all of us right now it's truly a good and perfect love we're not good only god is good we're not perfect that's jesus but how is this love between us so good and so perfect it's because it's god every good and perfect gift is from above so these unions are a good and perfect gift from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows therefore the love does not change i may change my partner may change the love between us is not going to change this is how people make it all those years y'all know that's a miracle especially when you hear about people who is married like y'all made it through what like what 
Now, sometimes, like I said, people get confused and it'll, it'll be like they took the abuse. It's like a badge of honor and they made it through. But it's like, uh, I ain't the judge, though. I don't know. I don't know. This is something because I keep asking him about it because like how, how do you know like really it's like mind your business only you know like I only know how I feel about me and mine's right um Amy and my mom we talk about this people the devil is funky let's just start there okay um even when you talk to those married people they're so happy and in love you never would have known or thought they went through that because the love is still so good and perfect there's no um resentment there's no like difference like the love didn't change you that's why it'd be like how like what especially when you learn different things people have gone through other couples it'd be like do y'all even like each other like you get what i'm saying but when marriage like people take uh all marriages go through things and 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 we use it as an excuse to uh stay in bad situations bad relationships all of that but you're not supposed to be miserable it made me think about the word about breaking up the other day when i was like when when y'all realize like you know on the same page you don't want the same things like because we grow and we change and and when you think about a marriage everybody grows and changes so how is it that it's the same love when we was 30 that's the same love when we're 60 but then we learn these relationships where we break up and it's like i grew i changed we realized we didn't want the same things what's the difference and it goes back to what my mama was saying in the you can't control it video that it was he was like giving me like a visual like what if you and your god ordained really are on two separate pages i'm over here right now you're over here right now but if god is in between y'all if god is the glue if god or orchestrated it if God ordained it he's going to speak to your heart he's going to speak to your partner's heart and that God come on Holy Spirit is what's going to always have y'all on the same page you're going to be able to compromise that's why both parties have to be putting God first because God is going to be telling the wife telling the husband to y'all's hearts on what needs to be done for togetherness to stay together god gonna be tugging on one end on one of y'all tugging on the other end on the other y'all and that's how kingdom uh marriages kingdom couples are able to compromise it is god god is the glue like i said in other situations because i keep asking him so many questions other things are the glue a fear of something right or a desire for something that's the glue money i was just watching hawaii 50 and um this dude was like well what would they be getting married for if it's not money and he was serious and everybody was like love like and a man think like him thinking people would really get married for love blew his mind i was like no see that's kind of scary right and so um want to throw that in there but i'm gonna leave y'all with this last thing because he just kind of been like what he doing in me like it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with megan i am in i am not in control of none of this right um that's how we can bend and not break because god is keeping us together the other stuff eventually will break money lust image all that fake stuff a fear of everything because once you get closer to god and you lose all that fear and stuff everything that's why it's gonna break that's why really the whole time they were like everybody was saying like you really need to be praying that your spouse get closer to god your spouse get closer to god really that's it because everything else is gonna break if he ain't in it it's going to break god is the only thing that's going to stand what he establishes the only thing that is going to stand I was like, well, it makes sense. And it's freeing. Like, I can be me. You can be you. Because that, that's what God wants anyways. And, and we're still going to be together. His love is still going to be good and perfect between us, right? So the last thing I wrote down is, God be pouring love for that man into me. Like, how can you fall even more in love with somebody? How? Like, how? How, how am I falling more in love? That don't even make sense. How are we learning and growing together okay and not apart which goes back to what i was just saying a lot of people will learn and grow and then it's like ooh, and then that it separates so now you in the truth see god is also true he is the truth because he is the truth said he is so real and i love the way that he makes me feel and if i am a reflection of him okay because God is in it. That's why you can learn and grow and still be together. But in those counterfeit situations, you learn, grow, and evolve. And it's like, I don't want to be over here. Right? You come, you become more of who you are. You, um, you're, you're 
align, you're more aligned, your purpose is more clear, your vision is more clear, and it's like, oh, I'm in the wrong place, right? But when you're with your God ordained, like really, they create the environment, it's cultivated for you to grow furthermore, anyways, to learn more about yourself, to be yourself. You learn and grow, and yet somehow y'all are still together. Is that not beautiful? That's how you can end up 75. You made mistakes. You might not have, you wasn't, you wasn't always a good person to your spouse. You were a fickle human because that's what we all are, right? But in 75 years, this is still a good and perfect love because God put it together, okay? So he is restoring the base, the foundation, and he's teaching us all. Like, he, he God's just doing a new thing right now, and Meg is here for it. I love you.